Yeah, I think there's there's opportunities to to throw the ball down the field. We gotta um, we gotta do it. We gotta make the decision to throw it there. And um, you know, we, we we try to create some some opportunities to push the ball down the field. And for uh, whatever reason, um, you know, for for that play, maybe we didn't do it. Um, a couple of plays we did push down the field, and, and we gotta make the play. You know, and you know, one a couple of times maybe we, one time we dropped it and. One time we got it picked off, and you know, a couple times we scrambled. Um, and so there's a lot of different things that go into the passing game that we have to improve on. Um, but what we got to do is make sure that we're doing things that we feel like our guys can can execute on game day. There's one thing to execute it in practice and to feel like, hey, we have the answers. If we see this look, this is where we want to go with the ball. But it's another thing to actually do it on game day. And so as coaches and players, we have to be um, – aligned on, hey, this is exactly what we want you to do, and then we got to go out and do it on Saturday. Coach, the interior defensive line, Howard Cross, obviously isn't getting full reps, and you're without Rubio, and you're a little bit light, both, I guess, kind of in numbers and size. Do you have some options there? Is Mookum ready to contribute? Sevillano, those are bigger bodies that you could put in there, but obviously they're very young. Yeah, I mean, Armel's really getting, he, he's improving. He's improving, and, and uh, probably right now is your fifth inside guy. Um, Rubio should be back. Uh, I don't know exactly when he's going to come back here in a couple weeks. But, um, you know, I think it, Howard and Riley and, and Heinish and, you know, even Anya have done a good job. We, we gave up way too many rushing yards. We know that. And I don't think it was because of our play at D-tackle. Um, I think it's more so they did a good job of forcing us to be lateral. And that's not who we are. We are an aggressive attacking defense that plays on the other sideline of scrimmage. But when all of a sudden you get all these motions and, 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 and color in front of your face and then you get outside running plays, it, it, it makes our guys a little bit, it made our guys um, almost play football instead of football. And um, that's a challenge that we, we, we've had for our, we have for our defenses. We, like we have to be aggressive no matter what type of offense we're seeing, we still have to play on the other side line of scrimmage, and that's going to be a point emphasis this week. <clears throat> the first offensive drives in each half were your touchdown drives. How do you explain the difference between those drives and the others in the game? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I evaluate that too. Like, man, so it isn't a problem coming out of the locker room. We're ready to roll. Um, but it's – you evaluate every play. Uh, like, it's, it's not a – the first drive wasn't perfect, but we overcame um, – some of the mistakes to make sure we score a touchdown. And that's what we got to do consistently um, throughout the game is we can't make consistent mistakes that gets us to third and long situations or we weren't even great on third and medium situations on Saturday. And so I think every play within itself is its own evaluation. And, and we got to be able to really stack plays and keep the chains moving. And, and we can't go three and out. We can't do that.